Welcome back, boys and grills. It is the Killer Nacho again, and I have a battle here against uh, Pyro. And um, this is actually, uh, well, his new name. He used to be DJ Prime, who I battled a few times in the past, you might recall. Um, but he actually is going by a new name because he has a, uh, he's actually posting on YouTube now, so I'll leave the link to his channel in the description. Check him out. He's uh, just getting started uh, posting battles and all that. This is a, oh god, what is this? A, uh, an NU fight. Yes, it's an NU fight, I believe. And, uh, there he is. So, we're just gonna go ahead and start. So, I'm actually gonna leave with Magmortar, which I picked because of Skep Gandy, who wasn't even there. He always wants me to use Magmortar, and it's like, whatever. But, I actually lead with it because I'm actually predicting this here ride on, and I have a surprise! It's called a Bloom Doom, beesh. Yeah, so, uh, I think this was actually supposed to be a Sun Magmortar, and then, like, one day I'm like, you know what, let's just stick a Grassium Z on it? Why not? So, that's what I do, and, um, yeah, it ends up working out for me here. And I just be able to nuke this uh, Rhydon right off the bat. He doesn't have the Sash or anything. He's just dead. Um, so that actually worked out for me. That's not bad at all. So in comes um, the Blastoise now. And I'm like, okay. Um, I'm just going to see how much Thunderbolt does. I'm not 100% sure if a defensive Blastoise can kill him with Scald. So I'm just going to go for it. He ends up going for Aurora, though. So I'm like, oh, okay. That's really good for me. And uh, Selgor is going to get dragged out here. And I believe I just decide to go... Uh, this is actually a Spex of Selgor. Um, so I decided just to go for the, uh, Bug Buzz, which is stabbed and all that stuff. And, um, yeah. He's just gonna go into Charizard, which is really bad, because Charizard X4 resists that. Doesn't take any damage from it. And I actually was worried in pregame about a, um, a Dragon Dance Charizard, because I really don't have a whole lot for it on my team. I just go back to Magmortar. He probably has Earthquake. I don't know if he can kill with it, so I'm just gonna try to stay in and hit him with a Thunderbolt, but... He does actually kill Meg Mortar with it, so uh, that's not good. And plus one Charizard is pretty scary, even without it Mega Evolving into Mega Charizard X. And um, I'm just going to go into Steelix. I know he can't possibly kill Steelix. Obviously, a Flare Blitz is going to really sting, but I do have Sturdy, obviously. He's just going to go for another Earthquake, um, not a Flare Blitz. I uh, wonder if he wanted to keep some HP. He didn't want the recoil damage. I'm just going to go for the, um, the uh, what is it, Dragon thing, um, Dragon Tail to phase him out, but, uh, that treasure is really dangerous. If he gets another plus one off, I'm not gonna, I'm not sure if I can stop it. Um, I, well, I mean, I think maybe Steelix, no, I don't even know if Steelix could, even with its a bajillion defense. Um, but plus one Flare Blitz is gonna be doing a lot, so. He's gonna go ahead and set up Sticky Webs in the, uh, with the incoming Lievany. I go for a Stealth Rock, so we trade some hazards there. Um, however, I really do not want, um, the Sticky Webs to stay up, so I'm just gonna go to my Decidueye. I do have Defog on it. I'm just gonna go for that. Kind of figured he would just go for the webs. Um, I should have probably just went directly into my Decidueye, but he's going to go for a knockoff, which is actually pretty bad for me because I'm a ghost type. Um, it knocks off my Rocky Helmet, so at the very least I break the Sasher thing probably has. And um, yeah, I'm just going to go for a Roost because I figure after um, knockoff will be doing less damage, obviously because I have no item to knock off. Um, I should be able to hopefully um, recover against this thing. I am like a uh, physically defensive Decidueye, so I know I should be able to pretty much wall the Ebony. And as you can see, um, yeah, I'm definitely healing more than he can deal. Um, even with, you know, uh, the super effective knockoff, it being reduced because I don't have an item anymore. Uh, reduced in power allows me to easily take it as well as an X-Scissor, which is his only moves, I think, to hurt me. So, um, I'm just going to go for a Defog this turn. He's going to go right back for the Sticky Webs, uh, which is um, kind of smart. But at the very least, it forces him to do that, and I can get my Decidueye back to full HP. Um, so here, I'm not entirely sure what he's going to do. Um... I don't know if he wants to keep Lavany. I'm just going to go for a Defog again, just to see what he would do. I mean, there's really no incentive for him to attack me. I pretty much have this thing walled. So I just go for a Defog again, and unfortunately, he does go into Charizard, and I'm like, well, crap. My one attacking move on this thing is Leaf Blade, and of course I have U-Turn, so I'm just, I am actually decided to go for the U-Turn. I wanted to get, like, the, you know, direct switch into Steelix, but um, he ends up, instead of going for the plus one, going for the uh, Dragon Dance, which I kind of thought he would do and I was really worried about, he ends up just popping off his Z-move in Inferno Overdrive, which does take out Decidueye, even though I have uh, Physical Defense Investment. Um, obviously, that's a really powerful move, being probably boosted by Flare Blitz. Um, but that's probably the best thing that could happen to me, because now I can just go into my Scarf Braviary and just murder this thing with a uh, Return. So that's going to be able to take out the Charizard. And um, yeah, I'm pretty thankful he didn't go for that plus one, because I don't I, I don't even think Steelix would live a uh, Inferno Overdrive at plus one. So, um, I might have been screwed if he did try to go for the Dragon Dance, but he doesn't, so that's pretty sweet. So, I'm just going to go back into a Selgor. I'm hoping that I can take a hit pretty well from Defensive Blastoise. He does go for a Scald, 
I do take that pretty well. And now that he got rid of Charizard, uh, he really has nothing to take a bug move. So I'm just going to go for a bug buzz. This is a specs bug buzz. But this Vileplume takes it super well. And I have to be really careful because Vileplume is a really... It's actually a top um, top tier NU threat. Um, and this is clearly like max special defense. He can uh, put me to sleep. And it missed though. So I'm like, oh, thank God. Please take it out with this thing. And um, I go for it, and it survives with a little bit of HP, but I miss again! It misses again! Um, so that was super lucky for me, because um, with uh, Strength Samp, that Vileplume could have potentially uh, healed pretty quick. So um, yeah, being able to take it out, yeah, that's pretty lucky for me, but that's how it goes sometimes. You, you, win, you get some hacks, and uh, well, obviously you get hacks sometimes. So he goes into the Evany here, which is uh, really just a derp on his part. I think he said that he thought he still had the sticky webs up, so he, he thought he'd be able to outspeed a Selgor. But uh, no, I did defog them away, so it's uh, bad for him. He's just going to go into Heliwisk now. I believe this is his last Mon. Um, I decide just to stay in and go for some damage. He does not kill, but he's going to be able to kill me with Hyper Voice. Uh, however, um, I already saw that, uh, yeah, I was faster, so I know that my Scarf uh, Braviari can outspeed the world, and uh, he does have this uh, Blastoise left. Even if it is defensive, I'm pretty sure it can't live two returns. So it takes pretty uh, the first one pretty well, but uh, it's not going to live the second one, and that means his last Pokemon is that Heal Whisk. And um, even if that thing can live a return, which I doubt it can, no, it definitely can't. I know I'm going to outspeed and just kill it, so that is a GG there. Um, but uh, yeah, really fun match. Um, yeah, I think the uh, I think he definitely should have tried to go for the uh, plus one on that Charizard again because it could have been really problematic for me to, to defeat. I have no idea if I could I had a Pokemon that could live a hit from that. Um, but yeah, good game. And today's question of the day is going to be, what is your favorite Pokemon card? Um, as for me, um, obviously I'm more of a video game player. I did collect the cards and play a little bit when I was a kid. Um, and I had a uh, you know base. Base that Charizard that went through the wash. It was completely beaten to hell, but I just loved Charizard when I was a kid. So, plus you know, it had like so much stats, man. It had 120 HP, um, right? It could do like a ton of damage. Like it had a no, it wait, I think it had a hundred damage move. Uh, but it was like by far like the strongest thing in the game for a while. It obviously, wasn't the best thing because its effect did have a drawback. Um, it's hard to get out there. In fact, I don't think many people competitively used it. Um. But uh, it was just really cool, and um, I really liked it, even though I accidentally put it in my pocket. Well, it was in my pocket when uh, my mom washed, and um, yeah, that really sucks for me, but um, that's how it goes. Uh, but obviously, uh, I'm sure some of you have played the, uh, most of you have probably played the trading card game at some point, and uh, you probably have a card that you think is just uh, the coolest, so um Leave the, uh, you know, obviously the set and the, the card name, um, and it could be because of the, you know, what the way that the card does, or the stats, or uh, the artwork. I mean, that's another thing about the Pokemon trading card game. Some of the artwork is pretty cool. So leave a comment about that, and I will see you guys again next time. Later.